Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Geek Off Magazine's playthrough of Game of Thrones. I'm Scotty, Scott McScott, and I'm your host for this episode. This is part number three of this series. So sit back, grab some Doritos, and enjoy the gameplay. In our previous episode, uh, Mr. Garrett Tuttle here... I uh, got into a fight with the White Hills and uh, one of Bolton Ramsey's men after his father was attacked and killed by them. Bring the master. Meet us in the Great Hall. Quickly. I vested those men and now I'm in trouble. I've just returned to Ironrath. Two White Hill soldiers? White Hill. And a Bolton. And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... They killed your she family for pigs. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Yeah. Unacceptable. The Starks have some you problems. Have my condolences. Thank you, Master. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Yeah, I was wounded by the Bolton your soldier. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Maggots? Oh. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Hold the wound open for you. I can do that. Oh, that is uh, disgusting. And that's even worse. Oh, I can do that in real life. I'm like, you, need, you just need to give me a penicillin shot. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. Like the Stark House? Forrester was a good man. Just saying. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord uh, Forrester. We can avenge them and attack our friends. Roderick's under a now horse now. Dead. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. I'll be king. You can make me fucking king. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Well, there wasn't much of a choice not there. Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house. I all know. Yeah, it was Lady a bit Forrester of a ambushy situation. Now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. I just walked like 20 miles on that leg. I'm fine. Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. It's circulating all over my pant legs and floor. I'm bleeding. Bucket, bandages. Let's check out these bandages. I'll need those for my cut up leg. Yeah, just stuff them in my pocket. Ooh, healing herbs. We can smoke those. That'll help us feel better. This might help. It'll help my headspace. Let's see what's in this bucket. Oh, is that what I think it is? Little maggots. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? No, they're not. I guess. They're disgusting. Well, let's walk around. See what's uh, in this room. Nice fireplace. Mm. You seem to be we could cook a lot it. of popcorn in there. Or you'll lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Yeah, I just got wounded, buddy. I got a bit of a limp. Give a guy a break. I can walk this off. I'm walking it off. Look, look, I'm walking it off. Fine. I'll go up these stairs. 
There, see? Walking shit up. Let's go see what's out this window. The Ironwood Grove. Nice view of my face. I'm a pretty man. Ooh, the Lord's Chair. That'll be mine. Because I will become king of this castle. Look, look, I'm still walking this shit off. Oops. Oh yeah, let's check out this. Looks like a family portrait. That is... Asha. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Aww. Talia and Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Couple happy kids. Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Ooh, yummy. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Oh, I hope she. I hope they do. She's cute. Oh, yeah. Never easy being the fourth-born son. I just get him a Nintendo. He'll be fine. Lord Forrester, it was an honor to squire for him. But I'm glad you're dead. Gregor the Good. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. We now call you the man under the horse. Cute family. You're all gonna die. Sorry about your luck. Let's go back over here and see what I this guy's up to. Mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yeah, I think you're probably mistaken about a lot of things, buddy. Did your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Can I leave now? You're boring me. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Hey, what's Welcome up, baby? Home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... Yeah, everybody's dead. Everybody, everybody died. Your father, my so father. Sorry. Me too. Yeah, we're a bunch of sorry people. Off to bed now. Hurry on. It's a rough life in Game of Thrones. Life expectancy is short. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end. He was very valiant. All was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall, he saved my life, my lady. Yet not Roderick's. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. I'm sorry, my lady. Roderick died under a horse. Nothing could be done to save him. He was killed by he a was horse. House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there anything he said? He said you're single Any now. last words before he passed? You're single now if and you should remember. marry me. He said he loved you. Or he said he loved you. That's very kind of you to say. Yeah, both, both are lies. You have the Forrester's sword? I do. I was Ethan gonna pawn it. Now that he is Lord. Lord Forrester asked me to return it to the house. Since you noticed so this it is now. Where it belongs. With his family. Thank you. And not in a pawn shop. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. I bet you will. You're probably going to go pawn it, buddy. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. They're all dead now. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Except he is a bastard. Garrett, do you understand what this means? You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. Yes, everybody's gonna die, I know. I got it. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. 
This happened on Forrester land. They attacked me. They and did. They say they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. They were being douchebags. cannot win. We have to be smart. Ramsey Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. Kill him. Last too much. Kill him all. Deserves to be heard. They deserve to die. All of them. That's what I'm saying. I say we fight. Ha! Listen Kill him. to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? Arm the women and children. <sighs> fight Ultimately, like Vietnam. It will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. Fuck the Boltons. Amen. One of their men killed my family. Aye. You'll say it was justice. They'll say it was murder. It's just the excuse Ramsey Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? What are you going to do? Send me to my but, room? But where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. You're going to send me to my room? You're sending him to the war? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. Uncle, you can't send me to the wall. I'm not a criminal. I'm innocent. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's not what you want. I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I'll do what's asked of me. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. Because I'm a noble bitch. That settles it then. Boy, something fucked his face up. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. All right. Well, let's get out of town then. Word up to me. I gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I'm not getting that from you. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. I know you're not a criminal, but Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. You're the only family I have left. Oh, we're gonna get all sentimental heart, now. I know I'll see you again. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. I'm gay. I like men. What? Just kidding. What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said... You suck. The North Grove can never be lost. Or that. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, tell only you. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth. What is it? By wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. Nope. I told you everybody. Told anyone else, have you? I told everybody. This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. God, he's suspicious. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. All right, we'll do. <laughs> right side of going to the wall, I get to hang out with Jon Snow. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. 
Cowabunga. Remember, you Dudes. represent House Forrester. Your actions at the war will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'm represent. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Hasta la vista, baby. Thanks for the horse. Don't look so sad, bitches. You're all gonna die. Jared, wait. Uh oh. Oh, the lady's given me her favor. She's a wee bit young, but in ten years, when I get back from the wall, be safe. It'll be okay. Well, here I go, riding off into the sunset, like every man's hero. It was fun, people. We'll see you soon. That's the end of today's episode. I hope you enjoyed our little playthrough. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you again real soon. Bye bye for now, Geekoids. Keep coming back. Thank you.